What's good people, it's your boy from Home Dad. Today I'll be giving you a behind the scenes look of setting up your Facebook ads to promote your ebook online, okay? So we're gonna dive right in. But before I dive right in, I just wanna give you a little, I just want you to be in the right mindset, right? Um, click like or subscribe for more videos on tips, tricks and techniques on how to sell more ebooks and how to hustle from home, okay? If, you, if there's anything you don't understand, drop a comment and I will answer and I'll get back to all of the questions in the comments. So. A lot of times I get asked the question, yeah, but why do I have to spend money on Facebook ads to promote my ebook? You know, why can't I just um, post it on different social media platforms um, and get the same results? And the answer is no, you can't. And the thing about it is Facebook, they want to keep people on the site for as long as possible. So when you post a link on your description um, to your book, that actually, that link takes people off of Facebook, but Facebook doesn't want people going to Amazon or to your landing page. It wants them to stay on on, on Facebook watching cat videos and hammering that like button, right? So because of this, <clears throat> Facebook out al Facebook's algorithm, they won't show your post to loads of people. No matter how many times you post on normally, um, you won't be able to reach as many people. So the majority of people that you're connected to on Facebook aren't your ideal reader anyway. So that's why it just benefits you to be running Facebook ads so that you can get your your ebook in front of a massive audience. And um, say for example, you write an ebook on fit, health and fitness. Not everyone that follows you on your Facebook and is your friend on Facebook is into health and fitness. So you're going to be posting to an audience that isn't interested. They're not your target audience. But you can actually pay for ads to show your post in front of people that love health and fitness. So obviously, if they see your book is about health and fitness and you're there into health and fitness, there's an instant match. And that is how you get sales. OK, so ultimately, the simple truth is Facebook ads allow you to reach your audience that you wouldn't otherwise. OK, so let's go jump straight into it. So um We've spoken about how powerful Facebook ads are, but once you've created a page, so you need to run Facebook ads, you need to create a page, okay? Like a normal Facebook page, you know, the one that you can like and follow. And um, once you've created that, I won't go into how to create that. I will leave a link in the description box on how to create the page and how to set up your ads manager. But once you've done that, you'll want to go ahead and create your first ad. So you do this by hitting create, okay? Um, and then what you want to do is you want to go down to traffic. Okay, you want to hit traffic. Now, awareness does one thing, traffic does another, engagement leads, X, Y, Z. So you're basically telling Facebook what you want it to go out there and do. Now, we want it to go out and get bring us some traffic. Okay, you're probably thinking, yeah, but hustle from home, dad. Why don't we hit sales? Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to sell. The reason why you don't want to hit sales at first is because of what we call seasoning okay you need to tell facebook first and foremost the type of people that are interested in your product once it's got a good enough data of people that's uh, interested in your product it can then go out and find people that are uh, are likely to buy okay it doesn't know who is likely to buy from you yet so there's no point telling it to get sales we're better off telling it to go and find us some traffic and then out of those people that clicked uh, that, that that traffic that came in go and find similar people like that traffic that would likely convert into a sell okay so hits traffic and then go to continue okay once you've done that wait for it to load okay okay so once we've done that you just want to name this book book advertising campaign So you want to scroll down, you want to leave this as it is, you want to leave this as it is, and you want to click campaign, um, advantage campaign budget. Now, what this is going to do is once we set up our different ads, it's, uh, Facebook is going to allocate our budget. So it's going to spend the money that you want to spend specifically on the ad that is working the best. Okay. So basically, it's just a cheat system so that you don't have to log in and turn turn things off. It will just automatically distribute your budget based on wherever it's performing best. Okay, so let's just put here add one. Okay, and do it like that. So next, you want to go down to conversion location. So obviously, we want to drive traffic, and Facebook is asking us where we want to drive the traffic to. Do we want to send it to our WhatsApp? Do we want to send it to calls? Do we want to send it to an app? Do we want to send it to a website? Obviously, we want to send it to a website. Okay, now at this point, I'm assuming that you've got a landing page set up 
for your book, whether it's on Amazon, whether it's on Gumroad, whether it's MailChimp, whether it's your website, whatever it may be, at this point you need like a page. You need to be, your, your, your book needs to be uploaded somewhere where a customer can go and go to checkout and buy it, yeah? So once you've done that, scroll down. And there's optimization for ad delivery. So you wanna leave that as link clicks, scroll down. Scroll past the start date. We want to start it. We want to start the ad as soon as possible. So leave that, and then you're going to come to create new audience. Okay. Now this little location tool here is going to tell Facebook where we want the traffic to come from. Okay. So ultimately, depending what type of book you're selling, it's going to be one of the top five countries, which is USA, Canada, United Kingdom, um, um, Australia and france okay those are the basically the main five okay so what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and put united states okay united kingdom canada okay canada Australia. The good thing about selling ebooks is that you're not shipping, you're not sending it to anywhere in the world. It's all digital download, so you you literally can sell it anywhere. The reason why I don't advise you just to um, don't like just click anywhere because on Facebook you can just go to all countries, right? So you might think, yeah, but I want any any country to be able to buy from me. What they'll do is they'll end up spending your money in India and Bangladesh and like third world countries where the traffic is cheap. So you'll get a lot of traffic, but that isn't gonna convert well, right? The best type of traffic converts from United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, France, and United States, simply because they're, they, these are first world countries. We have, you know, a lot of people spend money. We had markets, you know, you know people have, disposable income and stuff like that so we're going to leave that as united states canada united kingdom australia and france then we're going to scroll down and what you want to do now is you want to set your age range based on your book now if you don't know your target range for your book then leave it as 18 to 65 if you do know it then this is where you you set it up right so if you're targeting if you've written an ebook for you know new new mums um you know, mums between the age 25 to 40, then you would enter in, enter this in now, okay? Then this is why it does help to learn about your target audience and the age and the things that they do. But if you don't, then you can learn about your target age, uh, target audience through Facebook. Facebook will tell you because people that resonate with your ad and are interested in your book, you will then be able to find out who's clicking your book and how old they are. So you can actually learn more about your audience if you don't already know through Facebook, yeah? So it's a good tool. So then we're gonna go down to gender. And again, either click all, click men or women based on whether you know it's men or women. If it's if you've written a book on health supplements, you know, and how to get big in the gym, you're probably going to want to go for and target men. If you're right, you know, writing a book, like I said, for um, new mums and how to handle, you know, motherhood, then obviously it's going to be for women. So you decide, if not, just leave it as all. Then we're going to go to detail targeting, which is the power and the hub of what makes Facebook ads so powerful. So you're gonna basically tell Facebook to go after and show your this, this ad to people that are interested in, okay? So people that are interested in. So for example, one of the eBooks that I'm selling at the minute, which I'm seeing success with, is a music produ production book. I've got a background in music produ production and I've written a book called The Wealthy Producer that helps upcoming music producers um, learn how to sell their music in the market. OK, so obviously, for example, me, I would then target musicians, producers and stuff like that. You would then have to input your interests and people that you feel would be interested in. So, for example, if you John Grisham is a spy author so he writes books in the spy novel category like james bond kind of stuff so if you've written an ebook on spy a spy novel or spy thriller 
okay? You can target people that are interested in John Grisham because guess what? If they're interested in John Grisham's spy novels, they're likely going to be interested in your spy novel, okay? So you can do things like that. You can just find little, like, links. Whatever people are interested in that's similar to what you're selling, go after. Like, for example, if you're selling... If, you, if, you, if you've written a book on cakes, right, and how to bake cakes, go type cake, and you can enter in cake, cake decorator, cake maker, um, cheesecake, chocolate cake, cake decorating, all of these things... <clears throat> you can sh show your book to okay so i'll leave that empty for you for now i'll put cake um decorator because we're talking about you know um cake decorations or whatever and then what you want to do is you want to go to suggestions right so once you've chosen your first one you want to go to, to, to suggestions and just add any of the suggestions that make sense to you so this one is cake decorating as well suggestions and one little tip as well try and stay away from job titles only because the size is small as you can see it's only 5,000 people to 6,000 people whereas when you go to interest you're looking at millions the size is millions okay um, you just want a big enough audience you want to give Facebook a massive audience to choose from the bigger the better you don't want it too big but you want it big enough for Facebook to go out there and really um, sift and sort through um, the audience and obviously find your ideal customer okay now once you've once you've done it you can see down here it says estimated audience size 126 million so that's a big chunk okay that's a big chunk of people that we're going to go after which is good now this little green mark here is where you want to be you don't want to be in this red mark here which is too specific like i said if you don't choose enough people and the audience size isn't big enough facebook will say look it's too specific i need more people to to go after and then also you don't want it to be too broad either because now you're just targeting way too many people you're t targeting people that are interested in cakes people that are interested in extenders you know 90210 you know uh, marvel you're going after too much scattergun approach right you need to bring it in and be a bit more specific so when it's green that's the uh, best place to be little rule of thumb you want your audience size to be anywhere between 20 million and above right here we've got 126 million right which is good now that's not to say facebook is going to show your ebook to the whole 126 million although it can if you've got the budget to spend to send it out there but it's going to attempt to show it to to however much your budget um will dictate okay so you want to leave placements on that's fine and go to next okay so we've handled the targeting part. Now, now comes the fun part. Okay, so now you want to name this ad, ad one. Okay. Let's wait for it to load a little bit. So ad one. Ah, it's publishing. Don't publish, don't publish. Why are you publishing? It thinks I want to publish it. I knew I hit the button twice. It's fine anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is, once you're on this page anyway, you need to go to your Facebook ad and just select your Facebook page. Okay, the page that you're going to run the ad from. Now, if you created a Facebook page, it will allow you to select it from there. If you haven't, then you need to set up your Facebook page properly. If you have an issue setting up a Facebook page and your ad account, just drop a comment below or hit me up on my email. Um, and and I'll help you out. Okay, um, so manual upload is you you leave that because we're gonna we're basically gonna upload an image. Okay, so leave this as single image. Scroll down. Leave leave as seen as I said. And you just want to go to add media. Okay, you want to add your image. Now this is where you add your book cover. Okay, you add your book cover. So I've got my book cover here, which I'm just gonna add right now. Okay, I'm gonna go up here and I click it next. Okay, now you just want to do a little bit of adjusting here. So obviously you'll be able to take this image and just move it around, hold, drag and hold, and you want it to just fit fit somewhat into the box. Don't want it too wild. Um, again, just move things around because this is how your ad is gonna basically show up. So you just want it to look, you know, tight, neat and tidy, and just tidy it up. Then hit next. Okay. 
turn on standard enhancements, also turn on all optimizations as well, and then simply just hit done, okay? Now, if you've got more than one image that you wanna use, you can always do what we call a split test where you can test which image people and customers enjoy looking at most in the advertisement, okay? So you can test this one image versus another and whichever image gives you most the most customers, you uh, keep and you delete the one that doesn't, okay? But I will talk about that towards the end. So scroll down, scroll down, and now this is the text part, okay? This is where you wanna enter in your text for your, your ad. But ultimately, if you're, if you're good at writing, like, crafting words and your wordsmith and stuff like that, you can just go ahead and write your own text here. If not, you can use Jasper. Now, I'll link Jasper in the link description below. You can go and watch a video on that. Jasper will actually craft you um, a, a Facebook ad. I might be able to actually just go into it now and do it with you just to show you, actually. So if we go into Jasper, again, you can click the link in my description to get 10,000 free words with Jasper. Okay, I love Jasper. I use Jasper for everything, all of my Facebook ads, my primary text descriptions, my headlines, all of that stuff, right? Um, and ultimately, what you want to do is you just want to go in, once it loads, obviously. Uh, let's go into Jasper. Go to Templates. And then you want to go to marketing. Is it marketing? No, let's just type Facebook here. Let's go to all. Okay, so Facebook primary text. Okay, it will create high converting primary text. So you want to just type in what your product is. So we bake, uh, bake a cake, for example, bake a cake as the example that we used yes, uh, earlier. Okay, again, you will type in your product name of your of your book, your your, your basically your uh, book name, and then the product description description, which is um, this is an ebook created to help uh, people bake delicious cakes at home in minutes. Okay. Tone of voice, uh, you can type excited, helpful. I'm going to type motherly, you know. Um, and then we're going to hit generate. And now what it's, all it's going to do is it's going to give us the text for our ad, okay. <clears throat> it's going to give us the text for our ad. Again, you can get Jasper. Click the link in my description for 10,000 free words. Love this tool. I'll use it for everything, okay. So here we go. Are you looking for the perfect cake for the whole that the whole family will love? At Baker Cake, we have everything you need to make your sweetheart smile. With our easy to follow ebook, you'll learn how to dazzle your friends and family with delicious cakes in minutes. Our recipes are made with simple ingredients without all the fuss, so don't worry. Baking can be fun and simple. Get baking now and get praised as a pro baker. Grab your copy today and learn how to bake delicious cakes at home. That is exactly what we need, okay. And the cool thing about Jasper, we're just gonna copy and paste it. Yeah, the cool thing about Jasper is that it's plagiarism free. So it hasn't taken that anywhere from anywhere. It's just generated that itself. It's an artificial intelligence. So it's basically Jasper has scanned 10% of the internet. So when you ask him a question, he will give you, he will formulate a, um, an answer based on what he's scanned on the internet, okay? In a plagiarism free way. So we're just gonna copy and paste that text in there. Perfect, now we have our text. Okay, now when you just scroll down, it's going to ask for a headline, okay, which we're going to need a headline as well. If we come out and go back into Jasper, we can now go and get Jasper to generate a headline for us as well. So if we go to Facebook, as you can see, Facebook ad headline, you can generate scroll stopping headlines for your Facebook ads to get prospects to click and ultimately buy. Now, uh, again, we're going to do this baker cake. And we're going to copy and paste the product description and we're going to generate okay again you can do this without jasper but it's going to cost it's going to it's going to cost you more um you're better off just getting jasper and doing all of this time because it's going to cost you not so much money but it's going to cost you a lot of time trying to figure out and write and craft the best you know uh, persuasive copy okay um so it's just waiting for us to get so look we've got our headline here love baking get our easy to follow ebook Get the perfect cake for your next birthday, next party with Baker Cake. Baker Cake, the whole family will love, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. 
uh, and then paste that into the headline here again we could paste that into the description here this is what i usually do um let's paste that there and you scroll down now call to action if you hit call to action there's a few call to actions and um, you can do sign up now shop now see the menu watch more apply now book now download you can choose it's up to you which one you choose, but I would advise you to go for learn, learn more. I've been doing Facebook ads probably for the last 10 years now, and I've caught, uh, I've trialed and tested so many um, of these buttons on which ones performs the best. Learn more performs the best. I don't know, the human, just, the human brain is just more attracted to learning more as opposed to shop now. Once they learn more, they'll click it and they'll come over, and if they like what you're selling, they'll buy it anyway. So scroll down, keep scrolling down. And this is the important part. This is where you put your website URL. Okay, your URL is basically um, the, the, obviously the address of, of, your, of your landing page. Okay, so whatever your landing page is, you go ahead and you paste that in there. And literally, that is it. You just have a little look through your, your ad here. Make sure it looks all cushy. And then you go ahead and hit publish. Okay, you hit publish and it will publish within, it will go into review mode and then within a few short hours, it will then start showing, like Facebook will start showing your ad to people and your page will start getting clicks. Now, one thing I didn't show you if we go back to this part is the daily budget because I wanted to talk about this separately away from everything else. So <clears throat> if we go back here um, on the first page, actually, it's going to be here. Okay. Campaign daily budget, twenty pounds is set on. Okay. I always run my ads at a twenty pounds per day budget. Okay. And I ain't you wanna aim to spend around a hundred to two hundred pounds, which if you work it out, twenty pounds per day, two, four, six, eight, ten. It is gonna it's gonna get you anywhere between five to ten days worth of stuff. If you don't see a sell within the first three days, turn it off move on and try a different image okay you don't want to just be spending money for the sake of it okay you want to spend money based on the amount of sales that you're getting okay so start with a 20 pounds a day budget you might think yeah but i want a, a, the, the more money you're gonna um spend the more sales you're gonna make that is good but even with a poorly uh, a poor ad okay even if you throw more money on it, it's not going to change the fact that it's a poor ad, right? The whole point of Facebook ads is to deliver a quality ad that is going to attract people to click on it. And those clicks can then turn into potential customers. So start with a 20 day budget. If you've only got five pounds a day, spend your five pounds, man. This, this isn't a money thing. I've Loads of times I've started an ad campaign with five dollars as well. And I've gotten a sale within the first three days, right? So I've spent 15 pounds to make a sale. Um, and then I've tweaked it and made it profitable, okay? So start with your budget, but my budget I'm advising is to do 20 pounds a day, run that over five to 10 days, but if you don't see a sell within the first three days, cut it off and start a new ad. You need to change your image or you change your text. And this is where you need to go into the mindset of being um, a scientist, a lab experimenter. You need to, to experiment with different texts, different images, different things. Um, and keep doing that until you get sales. Okay, don't just stop. Don't just say this don't work. Because there's no point saying this don't this don't work when there's hundreds of thousands of small businesses out there that are making a killing and becoming very wealthy from Facebook ads. So don't you dare tell me that it don't work because it does. I've been doing this for 10 years. Facebook ads work. The problem is people don't work. People don't work. They just stop, right? If, you, if they don't see a sell within a certain amount of time, they just turn it off. Don't turn it off. Switch off the ad, but go back and make a new one um, and change the image or change the text and keep doing that and keep spending until you see a sell. And then once you see a sell, you, it will just start flowing in and then you'll make back all of the money that, that you had lost from the other thing, okay? So £20 a budget and then like that. Um, that's it. So what I just want to do is I set up an ad campaign yesterday, which is gone through the review stage and it's now been turned on. Um, and it's now showing. So I set, set up the book ad. Um, I've done two different ads. Remember where we was like targeting different countries. I've done one ad just targeting the UK and another ad just targeting the US. Because as I said, I'm split testing. I'm seeing which one's going to perform best. And whichever one performs best, I'll keep on. Whichever one doesn't perform best and performs worse, I'll turn it off. Okay, you want to always be trying to test something against something else. 
okay? Uh, how long is a piece of string? You, you're not going to know whether um, something is good unless it's compared against something else. Good is relative to bad, right? Just like up is relative to down. You don't know if something's up unless you've seen it go down or you, vice versa. You don't know whether, you don't know what good is until you know what bad is. So you need something to compare it against, okay? So like I said, uh, book ad, uh, ad one is in US, ad two is in the UK. It's spent, uh, it's spent, we spent 10 pounds total. Ad UK is obviously winning, as you can see here, it's gotten 10 clicks. US has gotten 11 clicks. Um, US is actually getting a lower cost per click, but it's being shown a lot less. I'm kind of, I don't really mind where the customers come from, as you know, I don't really mind. My actual page has gotten four views, um, and it's very early days. Like I said, it's very early days. I set this up last night around seven o'clock, 8 p.m. It's now three p.m. the next day and i will leave this on and just let it run okay it's already getting traffic to my page um haven't seen a sell yet um but like i said you leave it on for five days if it, if i don't see a sell i'll turn it off and i'll go on and and, and um uh, set up a new ad okay if i see sales i'll tweak it i'll find out okay where did this sale come from what age group did it you know was it which country was it xyz and like i said i've got my lab coat i'm a scientist i'm just in the lab tweaking and trying different experiments okay so that is it that is how to make your ebook sell like crazy using facebook ads if you've got any questions or concerns hit me up in the description box below and um, you can click the link as well to sign up for my free newsletter where i drop weekly tips tricks and techniques on how to build your side hustle things like this little information like this and um, that can help go a long way Click the link in my description also to get Jasper, is which is going to be a crazy, crazy tool that's going to help you excel at your Facebook ads. And again, I'm here. It's your Hustle From Home dad, teaching dads how to hustle from home so that they can spend less time with their boss and more time with their wife and kids. If you got value from this video, give it a like, a subscribe, and I will 100% see you in the next video. Take care.